welcome, thank you for tuning in and I'm glad to see you with me again today. And in today's episode, on-site dining is back in Ho Chi Minh City. Second, public bicycle make their first ever debut this month. And finally, a round up on live in Ho Chi Minh City after one month of reopening. So let's get moving. Hello, this is Strang from Yung Global's communication team and you're watching Vietnam Weekly News, a wonderful series where I share about important hot news that you need to know about Vietnam. So if you want to stay alerted when I upload new videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you! So I am here in Aladdin Coffee, right here in alley number 8 of Nathan Tom Street, enjoying my cup of coffee and ready to give you amazing news. So with many activities are now back to the new normal, on-site dining also returned starting from October 28. After five months of closing due to the strict restrictions against COVID-19, Right now, restaurants and coffee shops are officially allowed to resume. In addition, according to a decision issued last Wednesday on October 26 by Deputy Chairwoman Fang Thi Thang, restaurants and coffee stores can only serve maximum 50% of their normal customer capacity and close before 9 p.m. every day. Besides, only District 7 and Thu Đức City can serve alcoholic beverage at the moment. So last weekend, many people were driving to Thu Đức City to nhậu, which is to drink beers, wine and meet friends. So if you are living in Ho Chi Minh City at the moment, now is the perfect time to go to your favorite coffee shop meeting with friends and enjoying awesome meals at your favorite restaurant. Switching gears, I want to talk about the opening of public bicycle in Ho Chi Minh City. We've been hearing it for years, but right now it is finally being implemented and will be under operational in November. On November 1st, Mr. Do Ba Young Chairman of the Board of Directors of Three Nam Group John Stock Company, the investor of, of a public bicycle project in Ho Chi Minh City, said that the company has imported 500 bicycles at the end of October. This number of vehicles is being checked, maintained, installed by the company staff and will be ready to use in November. According to Mr. Young, the entire software system and equipment of the project is now complete. Right now, the company is rushing to complete size, system and also equipment at 43 stations in Ho Chi Minh City. So it is expected that public bicycle in Ho Chi Minh City will be deployed at the end of this month. The bike uses a smart lock with GPS positioning, close and unlock via 2G, 3G or Bluetooth network connection on mobile. To use this service, people will download and install the mobile app for free on their smartphones, from which they can scan around to get to the nearest station, then use the same application to scan the code to unlock the bike. After completing the trip, the user parked the bike in the right station and locked it. The ticket price for the pilot phase is calculated by time. 5,000 VND per 30 minutes or 10,000 VND for 16 minutes. Lastly, I want to give you a brief update about life in Ho Chi Minh City after one month of reopening. So as you all know that after four months of being locked down with many tight social distancing methods, Ho Chi Minh City is, was finally has been going back to the new normal. And on October 1st, the day that we finally can go out to the street and live the new normal, many businesses and also activities were allowed to conduct again. And at the beginning, there was a lot of cautious for these actions, so only takeaway services were allowed. On October 28, on-site dining is finally back in Ho Chi Minh City, and people right now can live their life normally. 
However, currently only a few food and beverage businesses in District 7 and Thủ Đức City are allowed to pilot alcohol sales. In addition, services like karaoke, bars, game center, and so on have not been opened yet. Although they will soon be all open in the near future, as the Ho Chi Minh City Department of Health is reviewing the current state of the city and will soon make another announcement toward this issue. Regarding COVID prevention, the city continues to gain positive signals. In particular, the indexes of number of new cases and the number of serious illness requiring hospitalization and deaths from COVID-19 all decreased the number of deaths decreasing at the double digits. On November 2nd, Ho Chi Minh City recorded nearly 700 cases and on the death toll was 31. Right now, Ho Chi Minh City is vaccinating all children from age 12 to 18 with Moderna, so school will be open in early next year. In addition, experts also give their thoughts on the process of Ho Chi Minh City after one month of reopening. Accordingly, they think that Ho Chi Minh City is doing well to reboost the economy and social life of people. But the fact that only restaurants at Thu Đức City and District 7 are allowed to sell alcohol doesn't make sense as people can just simply travel to those areas to drink, so it will be difficult to ensure compliance with 5K, leading to the risk of spreading the disease. Experts also propose to let karaoke bars message to reopen as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you and I see you in the next episode. Goodbye.